Say inheritance. Uh, that word is so rich, isn't it? Just saying the word inheritance. When someone says, I have received an inheritance, you know it's something good. And the Bible is full of inheritance. Amen. So it's not a question of whether the Lord has, has purchased it for us. He did so at a great cost. Amen. It's a question of whether we possess our possessions, whether we walk in our inheritance. And the Lord does not appreciate, you can see in, in the Bible that He does not appreciate people who have a lackadaisical attitude to, or indifferent attitude towards their inheritance. And look at the bold, simple faith of these girls. They wanted what God has given. They didn't want something else. They wanted what God has given, the inheritance. In that case, it's the land. For us, amen, it is all there laid out in chapter 1 of Ephesians, amen. The fact that we are in Christ, we are holy, we are blameless, possess it. We have forgiveness of sins according to the riches of His grace, amen. This is our promised land, hallelujah. We learn to inherit what Christ has done. Faith possesses. Faith inherits. Bold faith is always sure to be rewarded. You know why? Because it glorifies God. Simple faith, bold faith glorifies God and God honors it. When somebody uses his power, he stops, he turns around. I want to see the person who used my power. I want to see who is that person. He loves to be trusted, he loves to be used. 